Okay, so hello YouTube, my name is Vlad and what I have in front of me is this thing which is a Compaq Elite 8300 USDT. Now I didn't actually want to make a video about this because I felt this, is, this machine is nothing special. However, I quite like it. So, uh, yeah, let's go. So, having said what I have said in the beginning of this video, let's take a look at this little computer. Sorry, I got a phone call. Anyway, let's take a look. So, uh, on the left side of this computer we actually do not have anything, just a bunch of stickers which are, well, pointless. Okay, now in here, uh, this is the actual configuration, which is i5-3570S, which has 4 times 3.1 GHz, and it has 4 gigs of RAM, and in here it says 130 GB SSD. I'm not quite sure that such exists, but it is 128 GB and uh, DVD drive and uh, USB 3.0. Now in front we have a well, power button and four USB 2.0 microphone slash uh, headphones jack and headphone jack and this is an SD card reader which is quite nice. On the left side there is actually nothing. Uh, this is a professionally hidden uh, windows. Uh, and on the bottom nothing and on the top nothing. But connectivity under here is actually quite nice. So you have a line in, line out, you have two D++, four USB 3, two USB 2, LAN connector, PS2 for keyboard and mouse, which is awesome, and uh, VGA out and uh, the input, which is 19.5 volts. Now all of that is not that impressive, although two D++ is, uh, well, awesome, because you can actually connect three monitors on such device, and in my opinion that's great. Uh, but uh, the, the way this uh, computer is made in, on the inside is actually awesome for upgrading and whatnot. And I guess this is kind of nice because you can actually screw it onto a monitor. Now bear in mind that this is actually quite heavy, so uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure about that. Okay, let's open it and let's see what's inside. Okay, so first of all, this assembly of this thing is awesome. So when you open this... Uh, back plate I suppose, or upper plate, well, whatever. Here you have a RAM, here you have a CPU and I believe you can actually lift this thing up and you have lifted the entire assembly of a fan, which I believe is very nice. And now in order to remove this, uh, for example, DVD drive, all you have to do is pull this thing up and just remove it. It's that easy, seriously. The only thing that's actually hold this thing is uh, this hook. And again, to remove this, uh, to remove this hard drive, you just press this thing, pull it up, and your hard drive is out. It's it's beautifully done for this assembly. So this is 128 gigabyte micron drive. So if you wish, you can actually install two MSATA connectors. One of them can be, for example, wireless and the other one can be another SSD, so you can actually use this thing with, uh, for example, normal hard drive and use MSATA uh, 512 gigs or something like that. And what actually impressed me and got me to record this video is this connector in here. Uh, I believe this is MXM connector, I'm not quite sure though, but I do believe it is. So basically you can uh, install external GPU in here and you can actually use this computer for gaming. Now how awesome is this? Seriously. Uh, in such small device, uh, such power, uh, in my in my opinion, this is brilliant. So okay, uh, I will be actually assembling it, everything, and just I will be showing you the power brick because it is a brick. But then and again, since uh, HP thought about uh, upgradability, um, this is actually quite uh, quite neat device, and it's easy to disassemble. So anyway. I just wanted to show you this thing, uh, there is no point in me booting it and testing the uh, hard drive for drive speed and whatnot. This thing can play HD obviously, uh, maybe 4K, um, but uh, even if it couldn't play 4K you can actually install MXM card and you can play 4K, so this is beside the, uh, beside the point. I just wanted to show you this little form factor which in my opinion got me uh, well impressed. So uh, let's close this thing and uh, well, let's take a look at the power brick itself. And again, this is so easy to disassemble, it's impressive. Okay, so the power brick. Well, basically this is a brick. Take a look at how huge this power supply is. So obviously, if you have a GPU that's uh, 
the uh, MXM I believe you'll need this thing so yeah I don't know whether you can see it so this is 220 volts I believe it go yeah it goes from 100 to 240 but the output is 7 amps basically you can solder with this thing and I'm talking about power stuff well anyway uh, yeah that's pretty much for this video I hope you liked it if you did you can always click thumbs up maybe subscribe uh, if you didn't you can well click thumbs down and uh, yeah that's pretty much it uh, hope you like this video if you have any questions please uh, don't hesitate to ask I, I, I always try to uh, answer my viewers questions and yeah so so much for this video I'm quite uh, impressed with this little thingy cheers